This is the video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, July 29th, 2021. This is a little early for when we usually do these, um, but this will be part of the emailed e-blast tomorrow, uh, as well as up on social media today. On Tuesday, two days ago on, on July 27th, the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department announced that it was moving the COVID-19 risk dial into the yellow category for our area, based on rising cases in Lincoln, as well as evidence of significant asymptomatic transmission of the Delta variant of the virus. In response, the safety team of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, which I serve on, met this week, on yesterday, and we're going to move down a step on our reentry plan to what's labeled on our website as step D, low yellow. Now, when we initially developed this plan back in March, we intentionally created a plan that would be able to move in both directions, that we would gradually reopen and pause or move back if, situ if the situation warranted. And unfortunately, we're at that point right now. Since the beginning of this reentry process, we've said that we will follow what the, the county health department has on their dial, and so that's what we're going to continue to do. So the low yellow um, is right up here, uh, in case you haven't seen it for a little while, and I'm just going to walk through what that looks like. For worship on Sunday morning, um, we'll be at 50% capacity. That's 75 people. Now, that's actually quite a bit more than we're having in, come here in person in the summer um, because of our summer online uh, series, but we are going to, to ask that you register in advance. Um, that'll be fully hybrid with occasional outdoor worship. Uh, we're, we're not going to be singing while we're in low yellow. Um, and, and this is the big change from what we've been doing recently, we are going to require masks in the building. Small groups can continue to meet as they have been, but again, we are going to ask that you wear a mask while you're in the building here. Children's RGL will continue in this hybrid format that we've been doing over the summer, um, especially because kids under 12 cannot be vaccinated yet. And the office staff here will continue to work primarily from the building. Um, staff meetings will have a hybrid option. So while the Lancaster County dial is in yellow, masks are required in all areas of our building. The big exceptions to that are like this when I'm talking into a camera uh, and folks might have closed captioning or, or be, uh, be looking at what we're, what we're saying. Uh, additionally, we are limiting in-person worship um, to 75, but again, that's well, well below our weekly average this summer. We're going to continue to monitor the situation in Lincoln carefully. The health department updates the risk dial each Tuesday afternoon. And so we are ready to respond to it if and when um, it increases or decreases moving forward. This is not how any of us wanted this to go. I promise you that. Um, you know, the story that we told in the spring that we would all get vaccinated and that would be the end, that was a good story and, and one that we really hoped would be true. This Delta variant, however, has, has changed that story. I know of several folks, including family members of mine, who have been vaccinated, fully vaccinated, and have contracted the, um, the variant. And while they've recovered, while it hasn't been a life-threatening illness, it was possible while they were ill to still spread the virus further, including to children and others not able to get the vaccine. In a recent webinar, Reverend Lisa Presley from the UUA Congregational Life Staff put it this way. She said early on in the pandemic, the younger people wore mask to, masks to protect the older folks. Now it's time for the older people to mask in order to protect the younger ones who can't be vaccinated and others who can't. It's our covenant with one another to do this. 
This is not ideal. I would love to be saying we're fully back in person with no restrictions whatsoever. But it's gonna be like this for a while. We're gonna have to watch what variants are doing and we're going to have to respond in the moment. In some ways, this is not unlike what we do every winter as we, we watch if there's a winter storm warning on Sunday morning and figure out what steps we need to take to, meet, to manage that week to week. We'll be doing the same thing, except instead of looking at weather reports, we'll be looking at COVID-19 reports. If you do have any questions, um, please reach out. Uh, I'm around, um, as well as the rest of the office staff and the folks working on the reentry. Um, and we'll see you soon, either, either in person or online. Have a great week, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you're here on Sunday, I will see you then. Registrations are live now for that, and we'll, uh, we'll continue to be for the next couple of weeks. And see you soon.